Dear Prime Minister Conte, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to add a warm welcome also from my side to all of you and thank you all for being here. Um, we switch to English, perhaps as a symbol of the internationalism that characterizes this project and the broader internationalism that characterizes science and research. I'd like to give you a very short and very superficial overview of what Human Technopo will pursue, what kind of work will be done here. But the overarching mission, already mentioned by Marco Simone, is to promote human health and well-being by a deeper understanding through an interdisciplinary approach to human biology and human medicine. The overall approach is an approach which is sometimes characterized as personalized or stratified medicine. I'm not going to try to go into detail or to explain in detail what this really means. But just as an illustration, I think it's very good to look around you and look at the other people who are in the audience. In terms of our genetics, 999 parts of every thousand are identical between each of us. But none of us look similar to any of the others. We can all easily identify each of us as individuals. Similarly, when we take, when we get a disease, when we get an illness, when we take drugs, when we eat particular types of food, we all react differently in detail. And furthermore, diseases which have a genetic component, which actually are most diseases, are all different diseases. Fifty years ago, we thought cancer was one disease. Now we know that cancer is hundreds or thousands of different diseases. And even seemingly simple diseases, like cystic fibrosis, which have a single cause and a single phenotype, a single uh, prognosis, are actually 20 or 25 different diseases, each of which will require a specific treatment to be cured. So Human Technopole hopes to contribute to this activity, this initiative of bringing medicine towards an age where we can have more personalized treatments based not only on understanding more about the genetic composition of each individual, but also, and this is actually much more difficult, on understanding the differences in our environment. And we begin to collect data in a very systematic way on our environment by doing things like wearing smartwatches. This is a smart ring which records many things about my state of health and well-being continuously. And this kind of information, together with genetic information, is the kind of information that we will need to design more personal treatments. So we have begun to select and collect people to work in these areas. You can see that Palazzo Italia is a very beautiful building. But around Palazzo Italia, we need to construct additional buildings which will contain experimental laboratories. Palazzo Italia will contain computational research and offices for the administration, but will not contain experimental laboratories. And so we have to build those. And in those, we have chosen to start with people working on a number of different areas of science. The names are genomics, neurogenomics, structural biology, computational biology, and analysis decisions and society. 
all of those are based on producing and dealing with very large amounts of data. And all of those will be built on building new types of computational analysis of data. And so we'll be very heavily engaged also in algorithm development and data development. We've already recruited a first cohort of excellent researchers. We're very happy with the quality of people who have applied to come here. And with the help of IIT, as already mentioned, we have begun to build up an administration to create the processes, to create the rules, regulations, and protocols necessary to build an institution which will eventually host something like 12 to 1,500 people. The main task, I would say, of the administration for the moment is to plan and to begin, together with our partners, our expo, the construction of the experimental labs in which many of the people will be working. The principles by which we recruit people, both as researchers and into the administration, are open and international recruitment calls stringent selection procedures that are based on individual excellence, and we will continue to uphold these principles. We want to build an institution that's open and collaborative, that works together with many others in the community. We want, for example, to make some of our facilities available to external users. We want to have visitors programs, training programs, courses, workshops, conferences for scientists. But we also want to collaborate with other academic research institutions, with clinical institutions, and together with industry to help to develop new forms and new ways to innovate on the basis of research. So in conclusion, this is the first time that many of you have been to the campus, at least since Palazzo Italia became the home of Human Technopol. I'd like to welcome you again and to hope that many of you will visit us again in the future as we grow and develop. Thank you.